What's up, rock stars? Frank Calabro Jr. back for another training. We're going to be talking about traffic method today. We're going to be talking about solo ads. Now, a solo ad, if you don't know what that is, a solo ad is a, a one-time email to someone else's list. Okay? This is the most, one of the most powerful uh, traffic methods that you, can, that you can tap into. There's a couple of huge benefits to this. Number one, it's instant traffic, guys. As quickly as you can place a solo ad, you could be generating leads, sending traffic to your landing page, and start, to, start converting those, uh, those leads into, uh, into sign-ups, into sponsoring people. Uh, I know people that have built massive, and I do mean massive, email lists strictly from solo ad advertising. I know marketers, this is all they do for paid for traffic, is solo ads. Solo ads has got to be one of the top, you know, besides pay-per-click, I don't know, solo ads has got to be number the, one of the best traffic methods that you guys can actually tap into because you don't need any special skills, you don't need any special training. I mean, you just need to place the solo ad, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Now, pay very close attention and take notes because you don't want to mess this up, especially if you're new, okay? Now, the great thing about doing a solo ad, let me just explain this. you got a, you got a vendor that has an email list, okay? has an email list and you're basically renting the list. You do a one-time email to someone else's list, right? So we're going to do a one-time email to someone else's list. Okay? Now, the awesome thing about solo ads is this is your list. The awesome thing about this is Solo ad vendors, whoever owns this list, they're constantly spending money and they're building this list. Okay? They're always building this list. They're putting more and more emails, generating more and more leads to get on their list. Okay? Now, the great thing about solo ads is you actually funnel the most responsive, the most responsive people from the solo ad vendors list onto your email list. Okay? You're getting the most responsive people on this list and moving them over to your list. That's something that people really don't talk about, but it's true. You're actually funneling people onto your list. And uh, this is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Now, in order for this method to be highly effective, you need a couple of things. Okay? And if you're already plugged into my system, if you're already plugged into the funnel that we're using for Power Lead System, you're already good to go, okay? Because you've got to have a, a, you've got to have a couple things. Number one, uh, let's start with the email. Number one, you need to have a very strong subject line, okay? You need to have a good subject line in your email, and I'll help you guys out with some of this stuff. I'll give you some examples uh, on, on once we go to the on-screen uh, training. And number two, you need good copy. So your email, I call it copy, but that's your email. You need a good uh, uh, email copy with a, a good call to action. Okay, that's going to be your link inside the email. And uh, let's see, you need subject, you need copy. Okay, and of course, once people click on the link inside your email, okay, you're going to send them to your landing page. This needs to be a very powerful uh, landing page that's congruent with your copy, okay? Your copy can't talk about one thing, your email can't talk about one thing, and then they get to your landing page and it's something totally different. So it has to be congruent. And we've already got a converting funnel. We've already got a converting sales page, okay? And then, you know, we're going to have our offer, whether it be maps or... Genesis or whatever else that you're promoting. We've already got this set up. We've got this in place. We already know this converts, guys. We've already know this converts. Now, the great thing about this is we're also building our email list. <clears throat> okay? So it's pretty simple, guys. You contact the solo ad vendor. Okay, number one, you contact the vendor. You're going to schedule your ads. Now, when you schedule your ads, this is what I want you to do, okay? I only want you to schedule your solo ads on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, okay? 
I want you to schedule your ads to run on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday for right now. Okay? Sunday's also a good day too. Stay away from Monday, stay away from Friday and Saturday. Okay? I only want you to run on these days. When you talk to your solo ad provider, when you, when you book your ad, you want to try and get, uh, ask, them, ask them about their list. Okay? You want U.S. speaking countries, you don't want to advertise in some crazy country you never heard of. Can't see without my glasses, but you know that kind of thing. Uh, and you also want to schedule your ads in advance. Uh, what I like to do is because once you start doing this, once you start advertising a campaign, what you're going to want to do is you just can't run an advertisement once, guys. You can't just do one ad and expect to make a million dollars. You got to be consistent with this thing. What I like to do is I like to schedule out schedule out my solo ads about six weeks in advance. I'll actually print out a calendar and I'll book out. Like just say for example, I'm going to run my ad every Tuesday. Well, I'll run it out for six weeks at a time. I'll schedule my ads like week one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll use I'll use different vendors. I'll use you know I'll use a vendor you know on week one. Then I'll hit a different one on week two. I hit a different list each and every single week. But I, I schedule in advance is what I do. That's the way I do it. Now, sometimes I get really aggressive. It depends on the campaign, what I'm advertising. Sometimes I'll run Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday every week, and I'll do it like six, seven, eight weeks in a row to really jumpstart a program or an, a new offer that I'm promoting, okay? That's a good strategy too. But you got to be consistent. You just can't run once and just be done with it. Sometimes your solo ads are going to be terrible. You're going to get terrible results. The, the key with solo ads is being consistent, doing it every single week. Whatever your budget is, set up a budget. Say it's 50 bucks a week, or you know, 100 bucks a week, or you know, 200 bucks a week, or whatever it is that you have to spend on advertising. Be consistent and do it every single week. Okay? Don't let up. Once you start this, you do not let up. Another great thing about solo ads is you can do testing. Say, for example, you that your, uh, your, uh, your marketing funnel is untested. This is where I do a lot of testing for my marketing funnel. What I'll do is I'll do three, uh, I'll set up, uh, I'll do three solo ads. I'll do three small solo ads with three different vendors. I'll do like one, two, three different vendors. And I'll spend like a small budget between $50 to $100. Just testing, you know what I'm saying? Just say, for example, I do 100 bucks, 100 bucks, and then 100 bucks. And then what I do is I get the average. I get the average to figure out how well my funnel is converting by hitting three different solo lists. Then once I get my numbers, then I can scale it up and go big with it. Okay? So I'm just letting you guys know I do a lot of testing with solo to test out my funnels. But I'll tell you right now, your funnel is already converting. We already know your maps funnel is converting. We just got to get the right subject line, copy, and then just schedule a solo ad list. And then uh, schedule a solo ad and just start running traffic to it, guys. Be consistent with this and do it all the time and don't let up on it. You're going to see a lot of success with this. You're going to see tremendous uh, success with this. Uh, this is one of the most effective and fastest ways to grow any business on the Internet. doesn't matter what it is. And, uh, you know, this is just, you know, it's something that a beginner can do. You don't need any special skills to do a solo ad, you know. Uh, you don't even need a list. You don't even have to have a list to build a business because this is how a lot of people start a new list. Even the experts, the gurus out there, if they want to, you know, build a new list, if they're starting a new offer, they don't want to hit their old list, they'll build a new list strictly through solo ad campaigns. So that's it, guys. That's just a brief overview on solo ads. Like I said, you know, schedule these things out in advance. Run on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays, those days only. If you can pick the time of the day that the email goes out, if you can pick, pick that, you tell the solo ad uh, provider that you want to email at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when you want your email to be sent out because the best open rates, okay, that's just... The best open rates on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. 
that's the best time to send an email. You'll get the best, the best open rates, okay? And these are also the best days. That's the best days, and that's the best time to send out an email to a solo ad, or an email to your list, uh, for that matter. The best days is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 1 p.m. Also, Sunday is awesome, too, guys. Sunday, I get awesome open rates on Sunday because people have time to read their email on Sunday. Uh, I like to schedule a 6 a.m. on Sunday. And I have run solo ads on Sunday, and they've been highly effective um, on Sundays, too. But you guys that are new, I want you to stick with Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays to start off with. Start scheduling your solo ads. I'll give you guys a list, or I, and I'm going to show you guys where you can find uh, people that have, that, that there's a lot of solo ad uh, vendors out there, guys. There's no shortage of them. They're everywhere. But I'll give you guys a couple of lists. I'll show you where to go, a couple good places to go and get some solo ads and that kind of thing. You definitely want to track your results. If you know how to track your links, you definitely uh, want to track your uh, results, track your links, that kind of thing. I know that stuff's kind of advanced, but uh, that needs to be done also. Or you can just use your, your regular domain name. You don't have to track your stuff but you will uh, have a very good idea once it runs because you'll see how many opt-ins you get, that kind of thing, uh, and you'll see how many clicks you get, and that kind of thing, and you can divide one into the other to get your averages. All right, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Take care. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next training.